Hey everyone, Nick Engvall here. Before we get into today's episode, I want to tell you about some of the people that make the sneaker history community and this podcast possible. It's more important than ever to think about who you give your money to when you're buying clothing to go with your kicks. Our friends at Guilty Goods started their brand with a goal of giving back, especially to the communities that make sneaker culture possible. With every purchase from Guilty Goods, at least 10% of the proceeds are donated to organizations like Big Brothers and Big Sisters, the Susan G. Komen Foundation, Movement for Black Lives, and many more. You can save 30% on your order by using the code HISTORY at GuiltyGoods.us. Again, that's HISTORY at GuiltyGoods.us for 30% off, and you can feel good about your purchase knowing you're supporting a meaningful cause. Sneakers are all about presentation, and if you're like me, displaying your kicks at home or in the office is just as important as when they're on your feet. Sneaker Throne makes sneaker display cases featuring customizable LED lights, drop side cases to showcase the entire side of the shoe, not just the heel or the toe, the whole shoe. They've also got display cases for trading card collectors and hat collectors. To me, it's the perfect way to display your collection. You can save at least 10% on your Sneaker Throne order by using the code HISTORY at SneakerThrone.com. That's HISTORY at SneakerThrone.com. If you're a Patreon supporter or a member of our Discord community, you already know about Kicks with V Hot Sauce and his small batch locally sourced hot sauce. V has been one of the biggest supporters of sneaker history and the podcast since the early days. and He's currently the defending champion in our Community Trivia Nights competition. Kicks with V Hot Sauce has been a huge hit with the community. You can save 10% on your order by using the code SNEAKERHISTORY10 at KICKSWITHVHOTS.COM. That's SNEAKERHISTORY10 at KICKSWITHVHOTS.COM. Now, you're probably here because you like sneakers, and if you join the Discord, you know our community is about so much more than that. Whether it's the marathon-like community calls, trivia night debates, the in-person meetups, we're just sharing our favorite experiences. We found that although we have such different backgrounds, we all have some unexpected shared passions. Not only does the entire community look out for each other when it comes to releases, we're like a support group for life in general. You can join the Discord community for free by heading to the show notes of this episode. After you're done listening to this episode, tell someone you like their kicks today. You never know how far a simple compliment can take you, and we all know how good it feels to have someone show their appreciation. Now let's get into today's episode. What up, what up? Welcome back to the Sneaker History Podcast. Hey, before we get into this episode, I wanted to tell you about a couple of our partners. These are some of the folks that help us keep the podcast going, and they've been nice enough to offer some exclusive discounts for our listeners. Now, if you've watched us on YouTube, you all know how we love to display our kicks when we're not rocking them. Sneaker Throne makes sneaker display cases featuring customizable LED lights, drop side cases to showcase your entire shoe, not just the heel, not just the toe, shoe trees, a number of other sneaker-related accessories. You can save 10% on your Sneaker Throne order by using the code HISTORY. You can find a link to Sneaker Throne in the description, or you can just head to sneakerhistory.com slash sneakerthrone, and it will send you directly to their site. Again, that's 10% off with the code HISTORY. Our friends at Prospect are the premier streetwear brand and sneaker boutique based in sunny San Diego, California. One of my favorite places. Prospect is not your typical hype beast haven, though. They carry classic footwear from brands like Asics, New Balance, Puma, Saucony, as well as local and globally known streetwear brands like Belief, Illust, Rottweiler, Stussy, and many others. Not to mention their own prospect label and the iconic Just a Kid from Dago collection. If you're a listener of the podcast, you can save 10% on all of your orders from Prospect through their website with the code HISTORY10. That's promo code HISTORY10 at prspctsd.com. If you or someone you know is interested in sponsoring the podcast or becoming a partner with our community, get in touch with us. You can reach us by email at podcast at sneakerhistory.com, and we'll get back to you with information about how we can partner. And now for today's episode. Jordan trying to shake off starts. Oh, what a move! Oh, what a move! LeBron James with no regard for human life! Final seconds. Bryant for the win. Bang! Iverson against Gill. The crowd on its feet. Allen for the win! Yeah! sneaker history podcast what up what up welcome to the sneaker history podcast <laughs> we're here for my starting five episode we figure since Giannis just schooled chris paul and the Suns with a, a 50 piece mcnugget we're gonna do an nba finals episode got my guys robbie and mike with me what's good fellas how you guys doing what up oh uh, man doing good i'm immediately sad basketball is over but it's all good <laughs> When I was in high school, I used to go to the McDonald's and ask for the 22-piece nugget instead of the 20-piece nugget, and they would normally give me the two extra. So I nice. respect Giannis for being very particular about his order. <laughs> yes, yes. If you're not familiar with the My Starting Five format, we basically do this like fantasy draft style. So we're going to run around. We're going to go 
snake style. Mike's going to start it off. Robbie's going to go second. I'm going to go third. And then we're going to loop back around and do it all again until we hit five. And then we'll throw in an extra probably for a, a sixth man. Let's just get into it. Mike, start us off, man. All right. So my first pick of the final shoes is going to be, I guess, the Jordan 11. That would be, I mean, kind of have to. I mean, why not? All right. Good pick. Respectable. <laughs> I only have one pair of Jordans on this list. Um, I'm going to go a completely Likewise. different route, though. I'm going super modern. Like, you can't get any more modern. Well, I guess you can now. Um, but Anthony Davis, Kobe 5 PEs from the 2010 NBA Finals in the bubble. He wore so much heat, man. Like, literally yeah. give me any of them from that series. But I want <laughs> Anthony Davis's five pro tros for my sick, first pick. Just good choice good choice i thought about that was one of the first shoes i thought of when we started talking about this as an idea was those all gold pair that he the all gold pair that he wore mm -hmm. during those finals in the bubble yeah those are crazy like a, a reverse chaos yeah he has so many just bangers so yep. many good i'm gonna actually go with something that i didn't expect to to actually be sitting in the first round with my two lebron 10 loving friends here but the the LeBron 10 it, Elite with the black and gold, the PE. It was that, second. I thought it was oh, going to hang man. up for a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, that shoe is – that shoe I, – I think if I could have one LeBron for the rest of my life, that would probably be it. That's how That's how much I like that shoe. That's a good one. Okay. All right. So then uh, second pick, yeah. as as Robbie said, uh, I, I only have one pair of Jordans on, on my list, and it's the Air Jordan 12 playoffs. So that's going to be my second one. pick. <laughs> awkward you literally took my second and third pick like out from underneath me um Dang. see this next one now now that i know that oh. nick's gonna start going in the bag early well, hold on, hold i think on. i need to start going in the bag earlier too um so i'm going with one Kyrie irving and the game five 41 so it's the pack that released with lebron I'm talking particularly about the Kyrie twos that were all black with like the, the mango to green midsole fade, the gradient fade. I sold those and it actually makes me happy inside that resale value hasn't gone up much more than what I sold them for a couple of years ago, but they were 11 and a half. They weren't fitting in my life. I was like, I got, I got to let them breathe. Got to let them go. I'm never going to wear them. They hurt my feet, but I will never forget looking at that shoe and being like, that's it. Like that's <laughs> that's yep. the shoe. So that's, that was on my that was on my honorable mention list. So now I gotta know: Are we going? Is it strictly the model shoe? Or are we going particular colorways? Because some shoes have been worn in different colorways, as opposed to just the one, like the LeBron Ten. There's multiples of those now. Yeah, I no, think we no. got to go colorways, right? Because okay. there, there's there's too many good shoes yeah. in the finals to, to okay. limit us to, to just. So then, Nick, you were referring specifically to the red elite with the gold, the 10 the, elite with the, the gold. black 10 elite. No, you're with about the gold. The black. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. But it's also fantastic. It's, it's all, right. all black and, and a gold swoosh with that, like, yep, I know what you're talking super about. weird swoosh. I forget what the material was, but yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, perfect. Because I was actually had the red one on my list. So that's the one I'm putting in for my number two. It's like, crap, I need to make sure I need the caveats to this. All right, so that's my number two is the red. But then my number three, leaving the Nike family, we're going to the 2000 championship, the Kobe Adidas shoe, Stormtrooper. Don't you Stormtrooper. fucking say it. Huh? <laughs> Don't you fucking say it. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> no. That is my, that is my, uh, my third pick, so... Coming back around to you, Robbie. That was my third pick also. I don't want to go two Kobe fives in a row. I mean, in, in, in one. So, like, I will say the big stage Kobe five will be on the board for you. Um, I got to then go with – I'm going sleepers. I'm going weird ones. I'm going with the Converse Wade one from 2006 with the black. Dang it. on mine too. <laughs> That's well, literally next on my list. Because Dwayne Wade, I mean – I remember specifically the season before him beating Baron, upsetting Baron Davis in the first round. And the, it was the Hornets still. It was the New Orleans Hornets upset Baron Davis. And I was like, oh, shit, this, like, D-Wade guy's real. And then the very <laughs> next season, just, I think, what, he averaged, like, 30-something in the finals. Um, this 
beast. And he wore that shoe for like a good year and a half, two years. He wore that shoe for a minute. Yeah. And yeah, that's definitely old ass Shaq. That's when Shaq finally <laughs> flipped. It's like, all right, I'm now the second fiddle and the guard's the first fiddle. And it, it, was, it was beautiful to see. So random fact, the, uh, the Wade one converse was the first shoe, the first signature shoe that an athlete won a title in their first signature shoe. Oh, I didn't oh. know that. Even I better. Think, I think Steph Curry, I think Steph Curry is the only other one to do that. I think he won in his he first UA yep. signature shoe. So, um, all right. So, uh, damn, that, that was, that was like a staple in my selections here. I thought, <laughs> no, I figured neither one of you would actually put that on there. Uh, all right, I gotta go. Actually, Reebok answer four, but I'm gonna not go with the step over. I'm gonna go with the white and black version that I don't know if it released yet or not. I know it released overseas and it showed up on StockX and Goat and stuff, but yeah. I'm still hoping that it lands here in the U.S. at some point because I've never owned it. Although it's probably my favorite answer four colorway: white, white toe, black back. Oh yeah, just yeah. a, a flip on what the traditional one is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it ever dropped here. I kept seeing pictures and stuff, but I don't think we ever got it. So, got to hunt for that one, huh? Yeah. All right. Come back around, and I'm going to go Penny Hardaway, 1995 Finals, the Nike Air Flight 1, Orlando colorway. They re-released them in 2012. I've got the retros somewhere around here. One of my favorite shoes of all time. Although, you know... 26 years later, incredibly uncomfortable compared to most shoes that I wear now. <laughs> We're all literally, is that the, the flip answer four was also on my list here. I'm going to have to go. Yep. Yeah, let's just, let's just go with the Kobe four. So 2009 Kobe four, 61 points um, <laughs> with, with the graffiti on it. Um, the white pair specifically. Because oh, I'm going to hold on to this for the special. Nah, I've got to, just in case, take it now. Because <laughs> uh, I know no one's picking my last one. Oh, I'll be yeah. very, very, very surprised. So Kobe 4, um, sunning Dwight Howard. I'm happy Dwight ended up getting a championship with the Lakers. That's so weird. <laughs> in, 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 like, in like a dark mirror type way. But uh, definitely Kobe 4, 2009. It's Vino. This is tough, actually. So I got my 4 and 5 up next. Uh, number four is going to be Ray Allen's Jordan 28 from the Miami Finals in game six when he hit that shot. Got to have that one on there. And, man. Sorry, guys. I'm struggling. I have a lot of them on here, and I just can't. Number number five, I think I'm just I, – I really do love this LeBron, so I'm going to have to go with it. It is the white, black, and gold LeBron 9 Elite. It's going to be where I round off my picks with. That's a good Which pick. one? The Kobe, oh, I'm sorry, the LeBron 9 Elite, the uh, white, gold, and black one. White, gold, gold okay. swoosh. Yeah, right, gold yeah. swoosh with like swoosh carpet one. fiber everywhere, basically. Yep. That is a fantastic shoe. That is a beautiful shoe. All right. So I'm happy you didn't say this one. I figured you wouldn't. Going with the Carl Malone Dadas from 2004. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, dang, you went deep. Carl <laughs> Malone, baby. Um, no, in, in all honesty, um, a part of me wants to put Chauncey Billups and ones from the 2004 on here. I'm not going to. I am actually going to be stereotypical Robbie. I'm going with the Kobe from that series, the 2K4 Hirachi PE, with just your, your your stereotypical white, purple, and gold. He hit the game winner buzzer beater, I believe, to get game one in. And then they got their ass handed to him the rest of it. And I was like, I remember watching that and being like, yeah, this isn't, this isn't going to go well. <laughs> like takes the buzzer beater in the first game, um, but yeah, Kobe's two K four Hirachis from two thousand four finals. Good nice. pick, good pick. So I got one more, and then we'll kick it back to Mike to do a six man. I struggle with the last pick because I don't have a pair of Kobe's on my list. First and foremost. Uh, but Robbie took the ones that I really wanted. <laughs> I don't have a pair of Jordans, so it's <laughs> weird. Or LeBron. I don't have Jordans or LeBron. I'm like, I like them. Yeah, it's 
Life's crazy. But I'm I'm gonna th- I'm gonna throw a little a little twist in there because this is how important the shoe was to me. I'm gonna go with the Reebok question Lakers colorway because Rajon Rondo wore it when he was on the Lakers. So damn, Quinn Cook did too, didn't he? Yeah, yeah Quinn Cook did. too. I think. Yeah. Yep. yep. Dang, I didn't even think about yeah. that. Oh my god, dumb me. No, now I gotta start looking around my room. Like, what did people wear? And I just don't remember. What's super funny? So I had that same thought. J.R. Smith, 2016, the LeBron 13 lows. He had the J.R. Smith PEs. I was the same way though. I'm like, man, the role players got some heat too. Yeah. So you got to keep that in, in, in your back pocket. Yep. Dang. Uh, okay, I'm picking six man. Yep. Okay, now that I in, in my mind now, I can come back strong with a, a strong six man. Uh, I'm gonna pick a very recent because it just happened yesterday. Is going to be the the PJ Tucker six from whatever oh. his journey, like the the uh, God, I don't I don't was it ever that tan colorway was his PE of the the like the tannish per, and blue Kobe six. That's what I'm picking for. You don't want to go. You don't want to go the diamond plated thirty five thousand dollar pair of Jordan ones. No, no, I'm good. That seems like a bit. Much. Okay. I'm keeping it a little bit yeah. understated. <laughs> Man. <laughs> You had me. You had me sweating for a minute because, like, oh, you better not say because I'm also going this year's finals. I'm going with Chris Middleton's black and blue Kobe six he wore last night. I think the last Ooh. two games, white walled black snake, a little bit of blue on the top, gorgeous. Yep. That's yep. a beautiful shoe. I think I just got to go with the Zoom Kobe fives, the white and gold pair that he wore. Big stage. It's mm-hmm. yeah, big stage. I mean, that shoe is just beautiful. That's got to be my sixth man. I, I would say the, the other like honorable mention that I had that I that didn't get chosen, the soldiers that LeBron wore with the witness on the side, the white and gold yep. version with the witness. And, and you know, I, I thought about even like Ray Allen PEs, right? There's so many good ones. Um, Mike, you picked the one that I actually had on my list was like the 28. Actually, the 28 SE I like better than the 28 with the, with the fold down things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Bosch, Chris Bosch hyperposits from 2011. Those oh, are so yeah. Cool. I forgot about those too. And 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 actually, when you said the 2K4, Robbie, I was like, oh fuck, we forgot who who wore the hyperdunk. Somebody had to have worn the hyperdunk. I know Dirk I, wore I, the hyperdunk 2010. Or yes, two, he did. Yeah, 2010 Paul Gasol version. Paul wore hyperdunk. Lamar Odom, Paul Gasol, Paul Gasol wore the Laker. Yeah, that's yeah. when the whole that's when the whole squad. I mean, it's funny because you see like. Kyle Kuzma getting commercials and like Puma deals. It's like Lamar Odom had a logo. Like be able to sleep on yeah. Lamar, Odom, but you play for the Lakers, <laughs> things aren't yeah. gonna happen. I mean, world. Rajon Rondo played in what the Hyperfuse or something. Yeah, and like he I had his own logo for a little rock. while. Yeah. <laughs> but all right, but, Mike, go ahead and give us your your complete list. All right, start with number one, the Jordan Eleven playoff. Number two, the LeBron Ten Elite Red and Black. Uh, number three, the Adidas Kobe. Uh, Stormtrooper color. Uh, number four, the Jordan 28, uh, Ray Allen's PE from game six of the Miami series. And then number five, the LeBron 9 Elite, white uh, white and gold. And six man is P.J. Tucker's Jordan 6 PE from this Milwaukee Suns final. So my first pick, and since we do have to go specific colors, I will say the purple on purple on purple, um, Anthony Davis, Kobe 5 Pro Tro from 2020. And then number two, the Kyrie two forty ones. Um, number three, we have the Converse Wade one. Number four, we have the Kobe. Uh, we have the Kobe four sixty one points. Uh, number five, we have the two K four Hirachi Kobe PE. And then number six, the Chris Middleton Kobe six PE from this year. A lot of Kobe's, a lot of guards for me. Yep, my top five was. Or my starting five was the LeBron 10 Elite, the black and gold colorway, uh, the PE that, that he wore, the Air Jordan 12 playoffs, the 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 first the original playoffs, not the not the black and red or not the flu game ones, right? Yeah. Um, the Reebok answer, white and black, was number three. The Nike Air Flight one worn by Penny Hardaway in '95 at number four. Uh, Kobe in the Zoom Kobe five. Big stage, the white and gold version. I think there was a black and gold version too. Is that there big was. stage too? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and then, or sorry, that was my sixth man. My fifth pick was the Kobe questions worn by Rajon Rondo, uh, 2019? Yeah. twenty nineteen. No, was that in the bubble? 20, yeah, that was last year. 
Oh shit, 2020. Yeah, yeah we're in 2021. Ago. I mean, it's yeah, like 20 years up. ago. It feels like. Uh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's a that's a pretty pretty good pretty good uh, run through. I'm I'm really excited to see what people say in the comments on this one because there is definitely decades of oh. shoes that we could get into. Oh yeah. So if Where the there's last shoes dropped. on your list, leave them in the comments <laughs> below, and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. Peace. Hey everyone, this is Nick again. Before you take off, I wanted to thank you for listening to the Sneaker History Podcast. We just launched our new merch, including tees, stickers, keychains, and a bunch of other pieces you can grab to show your support for the podcast. You can purchase it now through our companion site, sittingtreasure.com. You can also get access to more episodes of the podcast by joining our Discord community at patreon.com slash sneakerhistory. Plus, we've got a bunch of other fun things going on in the community, including trivia nights, giveaways, access to sneaker raffles from around the world, release announcements, and my favorite, just good people helping good people get the sneakers they want. Plus, we're not bought by advertisers, investors, or other big money. I'm confident in saying this is the best sneaker community I've ever been a part of. We've also teamed up with a few partners to offer our supporters discounts. You can find some in the links for this episode and even more in our Discord. Give us a try, and if you don't enjoy it, you can always cancel the membership at any time. Last but not least, tell someone you like their kicks today. You never know how far a simple compliment can take you, and we all know how good it feels to be on the receiving end of someone showing appreciation. Thank you all for the support, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Peace. Hey everyone, this is Nick again. Before you take off, do us a solid and head over to Apple Podcasts to leave us a review. Give us a rating on Spotify and Amazon Music, and make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel because we have even more video content coming soon. Speaking of new content, we have an amazing community of sneaker enthusiasts that hang out in our Sneaker History Discord on a daily basis. While sneakers is a connection point that brought us all together, we've all discovered countless shared passions that we have in common with each other. We recently launched a couple of new podcasts directly from our community. One of them is a Formula One podcast. If you're an F1 fan like me, the Exhaust Notes podcast is your weekly fix of Formula One fun. It's hosted by myself, Rohit Malhotra, and Todd Yates. New episodes drop every Tuesday. I've been wearing fitted hats for years and collecting my favorite teams since I was a little leaguer. It has been awesome to see so many new fans getting into fitteds in recent years. Crown and Stitch is our new talk show about fitted hats with Dexter, Keith, and myself, where we talk about fitted hats, snapbacks, throw in some obscure hats because we all kind of like some funky stuff once in a while, don't we? Copping, collecting, and so much more. New episodes drop every Wednesday. Hit the links in the show notes for this episode to give our new shows a listen and be on the lookout for more new podcasts dropping soon. Last but not least, tell someone you like their kicks today. You never know how far a simple compliment can take you, and we all know how good it feels to have someone show their appreciation. Thank you all for the support, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.